I have no idea where my husband is or how he's doing, and I'm really freaking out about it. So, get this, Cherry's been accused of hiring four dudes to snatch her own grown-up son. Apparently, she didn't want him to patch things up with his ex-wife. I mean, can you believe it? This all came out in some divorce papers that just popped up. Crazy, right? I was told by one of the four men who took him that they were hired by petitioner's mother. King added, Since August 2022, I have been told that I am not allowed to see or speak to Allman, who is currently in lockdown at a treatment facility that is undisclosed to me. I am also told Allman has no access to his phone. In Allman's absence, King was asked to leave the couple's home, which was owned by Cheer Entertainment Tonight Reports. I did so in the belief that my support payments would be timely and I would be able to afford housing, King added in the court documents. I was not allowed to retrieve all my belongings from our primary home and residence, nor was I given the opportunity to inventory our assets. Allman has long been open about his struggle with drug addiction, revealing that he first began using as a preteen. After his alleged kidnapping, Allman spent time at Los Angeles Chateau Marmont under the watchful eye of a chair-hired caretaker, the Daily Mail reported. However, earlier this month, hotel staff found his lifeless body lying face down on the pavement leading to the hotel entrance with his arms by his side, the Daily Mail reported. Two days later, police reportedly escorted Allman out of the hotel and to a rehabilitation center. So, like in the filing, King says that she and Allman had agreed to try and fix their marriage after Cher asked her to leave their house. So apparently, Allman and King supposedly had this 12-day solo adventure in New York before their anniversary on Nov 30. That's when the whole kidnapping thing supposedly went down. After hanging out for 12 days in Nye, these four people just showed up at our hotel room and kicked Allman out, King says in the filing. And get this, one of the guys who took him said they were hired by Allman's mom. The King's declaration is like, look, I get it. His family wants him to be okay, and I just want what's best for my hubby. Allman has talked about his addiction problems in public before, saying that he was like a little kid when he first started messing with hardcore drugs. Since like the early 2010s, Allman has been in and out of recovery stuff, and like his relationship with sobriety has like gone up and down. So has his relationship with cheer. The pop singer has also been open about her family's struggle with drug abuse, going way back to her dad using heroin. Allman's dad, Greg Allman, also had a tough time with drugs. The accusation against Cher, a prominent figure in the entertainment industry, of allegedly hiring individuals to abduct her own adult son, Elijah Blue Allman, is a startling and troubling revelation. This incident, which reportedly took place during a period when Allman and his estranged wife were attempting to reconcile, raises significant legal and ethical questions. The circumstances surrounding this claim, as revealed in divorce documents, are certainly concerning. However, it's crucial to remember that accusations are not proof of guilt and legal proceedings are necessary to establish the truth. This incident serves as a stark reminder of the complexities and challenges that can arise within family dynamics, even among public figures. It highlights the importance of addressing family conflicts through legal and appropriate channels, while ensuring the safety and well-being of all parties involved. As the legal process unfolds and more information becomes available, it will be essential to follow the developments and rely on the justice system to determine the facts and any potential consequences. Don't miss out on the juicy news. Make sure you're in the know by subscribing to our channel and turning on those notifications. You'll be glad you were curious.